Opera House followers. Today we're going to be learning how to make a really fun, cute, trendy agate slice nightlight. Um, all you're going to need is to choose your favorite little agate slice here. Um, you're going to want to make sure that it will be big enough to go over your light. And then we're going to also use some quick grip, which is very similar to E6000. And then today we're going to be using your gold leafing pin. Now, if you aren't a gold person, there is also a silver and a copper leafing pin. Both are also really gorgeous. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead on this guy. It has like a little clip, so you can just pull those off. Please note when you're pulling it off that it has these little ridges. So you're going to want to make sure that those ridges are going to be upward when you glue on your agate slice. So again, just popping that off again so you can see those. It's going to slide right into that little slot there. That's why we want to make sure we're gluing those on right. Okay, so which slices do I like? I really like this natural one here. They're just also different and also unique. Not two blues are the same, not two natural colors are the same. Hmm, I kind of have blue in my house, so I'm thinking maybe I'll do blue on this black one. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this natural one with this white color, because it already kind of has that natural color. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put that gold leafing on it first. So. If this is a new pin, you want to make sure that you prep it. So you just want to you'll want to squeeze, and you'll see the ink slowly come down and just fill the felt part up. So once you have all the leafing showing, you want to grab your night light, and I'm just going to go along the edges, or your agate slice. Sorry, I'm going to go along the edges. Just basically kind of coloring it in. Um, you will want to be careful because this does take a second to really dry. So you won't want to touch it. You want to make sure your fingers are nice and spread apart. Okay, just coloring it all in. I think I'm going to do the other one natural because I really like the way that white looks. You can leave it natural or again, put a little flare on it. These gold leafing pins are great for other things as well, so either way you cannot go wrong. I don't necessarily worry about all the nooks and crannies. I do try to get majority of it colored, but there's going to be holes just like a normal natural agate light that if somebody was to put, um, you know, gold around here and it was a pendant, there still would be some darker holes that wouldn't quite be able to get it covered. So get to how you like. And I really like how this looks. Hold on, let me put the cap on this pen. I'm going to bring this up closer so you guys can see. It just kind of gives out that extra elegant look to it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this down. And then we're going to bring the glue in. So when I go to glue this on here, I want to make sure there's going to be room for this clip. That's your on and off switch. So I am going to glue it rather far down on this agate slice. So and I'm just going to put it right on this clip here. And I just pushed it down. And I'm going to give it just a little bit to dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and move that up. And I'm not going to color this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue it straight on. So again, I just want to make sure it's low enough. And then put that quick grip right on that plastic clip. And then I'm just going to push down and let it dry. 
While we wait for these to dry, I thought I'd just show you guys a couple tips. First off, if you are afraid that that's not going to be sturdy enough, go ahead and take a little bit of quick grip and you can go ahead and put it on the top and the bottom and just let it dry. It'll really secure that on there just a tad more if you're not sure you got enough glue. Now another thing is you might come across um, slices that have tags on them. If that's the case, you can peel them off. They might be a little sticky, um, but if not, we have undo, which is amazing. All you have to do is really just got to squeeze it on there, the liquid, and just use this little tool and scrub the tag on back. I always like to wipe off anything excess I have. Usually it's not much, and it does dry fairly quick. And one last thing, in case you were wondering what the other colors of those um, leafing pins look like, I have little samples here. So Emily is done in that copper, Sarah in that gold, and Todd is in that silver. They're all really pretty on these stones. Copper looks really good with all the darker, rich, uh, purpley stones. Okay, now it's been a while for me, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to just be careful and I'm going to have my hand near the bottom and I'm going to slide that clip right into that slot. Okay, I'm really excited to see what these look like, you guys. As you can see, I did kind of do, do this one a little bit low, but it, I was lucky enough that it still has a clearance room, even being the clip just barely brings it out far enough. So you guys just got to watch out for that. Okay, I'm going to bring, I brought a strip over so we can see what these look like lit up. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see that? I love that. Okay, now here's the blue one. Oh, that is so fun. I'm going to turn off this light here so you guys can see it just a little bit more. Look at that. Wow. How fun. And this is also such a great decorative item. Everyone tends to have night lights in the bathroom so people can see, but this would be so great for that or in a hallway. Oh my gosh, I love them. And then they still look amazing when they're just plugged into the wall. All right, you guys, thank you for following today and happy crafting.